All right, so uh, do something I haven't really done in a while today. It is about 6:30. Don't have a whole lot of daylight left. Uh, haven't fished in this area in uh, quite a long time. Well, I mean, since the last, I don't know how long it's been. Did a tournament out here. It's been a while. Um, but yeah, basically the thing that I haven't really done in a long time was part of my rush hour fishing series that I was doing. So don't have a whole lot of time. Uh, that's why I call it rush hour. I'm in a rush to try to catch as many fish as I can before I run out of time, before the sun goes down or whatever. The park is just absolutely packed today. So I don't know exactly how, how much room I'm even gonna have. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna fish the lake. I'm gonna go to the creek, do some creek fishing, try to catch some uh, post-spawn bass. Uh, see what I can do. The last time I was here, it was just, it was freezing cold and nothing was biting. So hopefully I'll do better this time, but there's a, there's a lot of people here. I mean, this is why I don't really fish on weekends because everybody else comes out on the weekends. So, yeah, I mean, there's like almost nowhere to park out here, right here, but anyway, rush hour fishing. I've got about an hour, hour and a half, I think, till the sun goes down. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get down to that creek and try to catch some post-spawn bass. Let's get to it. This is new, the landscape's changed a little bit. There's now a separate little creek here with that turtle in it. It's completely isolated from the main creek. <clears throat> Not seeing any fish in it. Oh, there's some minnows. I'm sure this place flooded pretty bad during all that rain recently. Oh, I got one. <laughs> Came out of the rocks. Came out of the rocks to get one. So there we go. The rush hour fishing challenge was successful. Got one. It's uh feels better. Oh, that's two already and he took my bait or he shook it off anyway oh there we go <laughs> nice little largemouth and I've moved a considerable distance downstream here and wasn't actually expecting to catch one there. Oh, 
lit three fish already before the sun goes down. And I'm trying to figure out how to get across all this without sinking knee deep in the mud. Guess I gotta go up to the top. It's all the rain lately, everything drained from the street out to right here. Which actually makes this a really good spot to fish. But it's just super muddy all the time. Even in the dry season, there's always water flowing out of here. I'm sure that's going to generate more bites, but with this wind, it's just impractical to use right now. So I got to go with this. Totally forgot I'm supposed to be doing TikToks and stuff now too. I'm very bad at social media because usually I'll be out here, you know, doing the recording on the camera is easy. You just turn it on and leave it alone. But you know, TikTok and Instagram and all that, I got to take out my phone, take pictures, or open up the app and start recording, do all this stuff. And I don't always think about doing that. I forget about it quite often oh man I missed one there because I took my hand off the reel and wasn't ready for it but it came back I got him <laughs> Oh, he slipped off right here. Chill. Calm down, I'll help you out. Nice, healthy looking little fish. Since I was just talking about TikTok, let's go. Tiny little bass out of this very urban creek. Oh man, I just missed one there. That was probably the same size or smaller than the last one I just caught though. Oh, I got one. I thought it felt weird because I wasn't feeling the weight of the bait anymore. So I guess he just took it and was swimming towards me. So, here we got another one. That's five already. Three on the skinny Senko and two on the swim bait. Like I was saying, that's probably the same one I just missed a little minute ago. So he's probably, like I was saying, he was probably the same size or smaller, which I was right. He was definitely smaller. <laughs> so now I'm going to move down. Hey, look! Five! I just missed one. Man, that would that would have been pretty. Okay, damn, he pulled it off the hook too. That would have been pretty epic to catch one in front of the four wheelers. A lot of times, you people might get mad about something like that. You know, out here fishing, and then four wheelers come right up on you like that. People might get mad, say you're scaring the fish away and everything, but. This is an urban creek, man. The fish are used to engine noises. They're right under some of the busiest streets in the city. 
they hear that stuff all the time so a couple of four wheelers isn't going to scare them obviously because i just missed one that pulled me right off the hook and it felt like it might have been the biggest one of the day so far so i'm i'm not mad about people out here four wheeling I'm sure the cops might be mad about it but i'm not they weren't rude or anything they were polite so and uh Hell, they might have even triggered that bite, spooked the fish, and got a reaction out of it. <laughs> uh, would have been cool to catch one in front of them. I like catching fish when there's like all kinds of noise and stuff going on. Kind of proves, disproves a lot of uh, uptight fishermen's theories. Let's see if I can get that fish to bite again. Oh, dang. Oh man, I pulled it out of his mouth. Oh, but then I got another one. Another one came and grabbed it. And I think this one's actually bigger. Bigger than the one that I pulled out of his mouth anyway. There we go. Nice little large mouth. This one, for as small as he is, he's actually a little chunky. Pretty cool six fish already and gotten three solid bites since those four wheelers went by so they might have stirred them up a little bit woke them up it's just like when i go for white bass and all that and if a boat goes by and stirs up the water i always throw immediately right behind that boat and i'll usually catch a couple because the water it stirs them up and gets them active of course these weren't boats they don't have anything do with the water but those vibrations and everything getting down to the rocks probably had the same effect need to change my battery my battery just died and I just lost one I had one I brought him up to the surface here and he slipped off got one <laughs> got it on the drop and it's a sunfish this time red ear bluegill something hmm. whatever all right so there we go uh, caught like eight fish six bass two sunfish and uh, yeah sun's starting to go down it's starting to get dark so I'm gonna get out of here before it's too dark for the camera to see anything so, uh, there we go uh, it's probably about half and half evenly on the swim bait and the skinny Senko so are starting to get out and be active and feeding again so might have to come back here might have to go back to some old spots that i haven't been to in a while so thanks for watching see you next time